Hi, my name is Martha. I'm one of the guides here at the Phoenix Park Visitor Centre. This video is five facts you might not have known about the Phoenix Park. So the point is that even if you're very familiar with the park, if you're a very regular visitor, you will hopefully learn something today that you did not already know. Did you know we have a burial cyst or kist or cromlock here in the grounds of the Phoenix Park? And it's located in the south end of the park. And it's actually older than the pyramids and older than Newgrange. Did you know the largest Viking burial site outside of Scandinavia was found in Dublin across the River Liffey in Island Bridge and Kilmainham? It was found in the 1840s and in the 1850s and again in the 1930s when they were building the railway. At that time, the Phoenix Park would have spanned right across the River Liffey to Kilmainham and Island Bridge. So some of these graves were found in the Phoenix Park. The park here is famous for the badgers, of course, for the deer, the fallow deer, but also there's a film star and his name is Calibri. And in 1927, he was taken to America and he is the line that, la that roars at the end of the MGM movies. And he was a dub. So he came from Dublin Zoo and we're very, very proud of him. So that's another claim to fame that the Phoenix Park has. Did you know that the yew trees fruit that it produces this time of year is a very important food source for many different species of birds that we have here in the Phoenix Park. And when they eat the seed, they digest the outer flesh around it and then as they fly away they'll drop the seed in another location and a new tree can grow from there. Uh, on the 6th of May 1882 one of the most infamous events in the Phoenix Park history took place. Lord Frederick Cavendish and Thomas Burke were fatally stabbed by a Irish Republican group called the Invincibles within the Phoenix Park. Now a lot of people know that already, but what many people don't know is that there is a very discreet memorial on the site that this took place. There is a small gravel cross just opposite Oris and Uchtaron on Chesterfield Avenue. It's quite difficult to find, but next time you're in the area, it's well worth having a look for.